This week, Google has released the first beta update for Android P. And with it, it comes a feature that lets you change the navigation bar. It looks like Google and Android is wanting the platform to go to a different gesture base style instead of having a back home and recents button. It's possible that in the future this new navigation method will be the only option on Android. But for now it is just available as an optional feature. And today I want to show you how to enable it and how it works. So to start this we just need to go ahead and launch the settings application. And we're going to scroll down a bit to see the system option. And then right there we're going to have a gestures option. And all of this can change by the time the full final update gets released. But right now it is located in the gestures area with a feature called swipe up on the home button. What we have to do is tap that. We get a little preview of how that works right there. And then toggle it on. As you can see, the navigation bar immediately changed. We went from having a back, a home, and a recents button to having a back and a little dash button, which basically works as a home button. So that you can tap it for a home button anytime. A half swipe up from that button takes you to the recents page which used to have a own, its own dedicated button there. Now I'm currently on Nova Launcher and apparently that has prevented me from doing a full swipe up to bring in the application drawer. This will likely be changed in a future update for Nova Launcher. Again this is a beta version of Android so a lot of things are going to change, a lot of things are not going to function as it should, but just know that it, the intended use is to do a half swipe up to show your recents page or you do a full swipe up or you can do two swipes up, a half swipe and another, another half swipe and that will bring you the application drawer which now will be accessible anywhere whether you're on the home screen inside a specific application anywhere. You also see that the back button is here and we can tap back to go back but that back button is actually going to be optional the back button will not always be there if the application developer wants to program in a function for the back button then you will see that right there if not then that will actually be blank so there we are that is the so there we have it that is a quick demonstration of the new navigation bar gestures on the first Android P beta update.